Good morning, this is Gary Dickinson. You are here in Libreville, Gabon at the Gabon Advanced School of Theology and we're going to have a cup of coffee together. This morning I brought you one of the most wonderful creations on God's green earth. The croissant. There's just nothing like it. You just have to see it. It's the most beautiful thing in the world. Yes, I was a baker. I can appreciate beauty even in a croissant. It's light, delicate, flaky. Oh, never mind, never mind. This morning I want to talk to you about uh, uh, the Christmas season. We're starting into the Christmas season and I want to do several uh, different episodes talking about the importance of Christ coming to the earth, being born as a man, and uh, forgiving our sins. It's really important we understand the background to this to appreciate the holiday season. It's not just about Christ coming to the earth, it's the reason he came to the earth and what it actually accomplished. And this morning I want to talk to you just for a bit, if you would please, out of Matthew chapter 4 and verse 12 to 16. You, you may have heard this uh, scripture before. I memorized it when I was a kid. I was in a Bible quiz 150 years ago. So here it is, Matthew chapter 4 verse 12 all the way to 16. Now when he heard that John had been arrested, he withdrew into Galilee. And leaving Nazareth, he went and lived in Capernaum by the sea in the territory of Zebulun and Naphtali, so that what was spoken by the prophet Isaiah might be fulfilled, the land of Zebulun and the land of Naphtali, the way of the sea beyond Jordan, Galilee of the Gentiles, the people dwelling in darkness have seen a great light. And for those dwelling in the region and shadow of death, on them a light has dawned. Jesus came to the earth for one reason, and that is to forgive sin. The whole process was part of God's plan. It was prophesied by the prophets and especially by Isaiah. Jesus had to come so that darkness could flee. Darkness cannot drown out light, but light chases away darkness. That's just a physics principle we learned in high school 120 years ago. So when God says that Jesus is the light of the world, what does that mean to you and me? That means that Jesus has the ability to chase away the darkness. And in the Bible, darkness is almost always a metaphor for sin, or for great difficulty of some kind. We say, when I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, shadows, you know. Jesus came to dispel darkness, the wickedness of sin in my life and in your life. As we get close to the Christmas season now, I'm, I'm starting to get excited in my spirit. Jesus came to transform the world. He's light. He covers up darkness. I'm going to show you two pictures. One, uh, Janice took these pictures just yesterday when we were having lunch with the pastor's family. One is without the flash and one is with the flash. And it's a perfect illustration of the difference that comes with light versus darkness. There's a reason that bars and nightclubs are so dark. It's so that you can't see the flaws in the person that's in front of you and you can be amorous or romantic or whatever. Jesus came to dispel all that camouflage so that you can see exactly what you are. And with God's light in my life, sin will be dispelled. Let's look at these two pictures. The first one is without a flash. You see that it's grainy. It's taken with the same camera, the same lens, the same time. The second picture is with a flash. Do you see the detail? Do you see the definition? Do you see the beautiful color? You saw the form before, but now you see the fine details. The light of Christ comes to transform my life, to take away all those blah and blurry things and replace them with the beautiful things that are exposed to the light of Christ. I'm hoping you have a wonderful week and that this Christmas season is your best ever. Why don't you take a moment with me and say, thank you, Father, for sending Jesus, your son, to this earth. We're going to celebrate it on December 25th. It's not the day that Jesus was born, but that's the day we celebrate it because wonderful things always need a celebration. Have a good week. May the Lord bless you and enjoy your coffee this morning. 
Amen.